Hello everybody, David Trailer of the Trailer Law Firm. I'm a lawyer in North Texas. I represent people who are accused of violating the law and I try to get them back to their normal lives as quickly and easily and cheaply and stress-free as possible. So today I'm gonna to talk about occupational driver's licenses and why you might need one and what to do if you need one, what the various causes of needing one are. So let's just get right into it. Um, occupational driver's license, why might you need one? Well. There's a lot of reasons they can suspend your license and an occupational driver's license allows you to drive while your license is still suspended for a period of time. It lets you drive up to 12 hours a day in specified counties. It's usually specified routes in specified counties, but in Dallas, in the Dallas area, North Texas area, most places just let you specify which counties you want to drive in and say something like all roads and bridges within that, that area. And that's what we do. But why might your license be suspended? Well, it could be suspended for uh, too many moving violations within a year. Within a specific time period, you get too many moving violations, they'll suspend your driver's license, or they'll try to. Now, it's one of those things, as with a lot of things in life, if you've got a situation that you're not completely sure about how to handle, it's almost always better to get somebody who is sure how to handle it to help you because they can save you a lot of headache, a lot of grief, um, even save you from disaster. To tell you what I'm talking about, I had someone call me today who had a bunch of tickets all over the place that were keeping her from getting her, getting her license renewed. Her license wasn't suspended. Actually, it was. It was suspended, but she also needed to get her tickets taken care of. She had failed to appear. And so rather than call me or someone like me and have us handle the thing for her for a price of course she paid far more money to just pay the tickets off and the problem with that is she gave herself a bunch of convictions and almost assuredly bought herself with all that money for the maximum price moving violations on her record and insurance convictions both of which can end up causing future or further suspensions so trying to make her problem better, she probably ended up making her problem worse and paying the maximum dollar to do so. So if you just hired me or someone like me, she would have saved herself a lot of trouble, a lot of future trouble. So uh, that's just an example. So the occupational driver's license are the same. You can probably go through and beat your head against the wall and figure out how to do it for yourself. but you may also end up making a lot of mistakes that can, even though you think you're making progress, you end up making it worse or just not getting it done properly or, or not getting it done when you need it. So why are, what are other reasons your license could be suspended? Drug convictions, that's one. Um, in fact, I had a client just last week who had a possession of marijuana case and we were gonna get her time served because she didn't care about having a conviction. She had a bunch of stuff on her record already and time served would have meant she'd walk out of the courthouse and done with that case. But the problem was it would also give her a license suspension. So she had just gotten her license fixed, didn't want that suspension. So instead of getting her time served, we ended up getting her a, a conditional dismissal, but that means she's gonna have to do some things. And it kind of drew the case out a little bit longer for her. So even though she will end with the dismissal, she's gonna have to be involved with this thing for a little longer so her result will ultimately be better. Not that that made much of a difference to her, but the big difference for her is she'll get to keep her license. She won't have to mess with that problem. Um, what else? DW, there's a lot of different suspensions that come from DWI related activity. Um, although typically when you get a DWI, whoever handles that DWI is also gonna work on your license suspensions and your, uh, your occupational license. So, Why am I at McDonald's? Well, because we got a Happy Meal for my daughter and they gave her a toy that was not suited for a girl. She wanted a princess toy, which it said on the billboard or the, the sign that she was entitled to have. And they gave her the Star Wars toy for, for a boy. It's like a, it's like a helmet of a X-Wing fighter pilot. And there's a person standing at the window Sir, here. Sir, can you order my food? No, I can't. I'm sorry. I'll give you the money. I need to get a girl's toy. Y'all gave a, girl, a boy's toy. Can you go yeah. To, go to your 
woman wants me to order her food. I'm sorry, but I'm not in that charitable mood right now. Oh, so uh, my daughter got a boy's toy today when she was supposed to get a princess toy. He was standing there looking at me like, what does this guy want? I was holding a toy out to him and he was like, well, why is he holding a toy out to me? Can I have two of them since I had to come all the way back? Sorry? Can I have two of them since I had to come all the way back? Are you having a good one right? Yeah. No. Can I get two? Why not? All right, I'll take that one. He doesn't care I had to drive all the way back. This is what I got. I got uh, whoever this is. Disney Princess. I mean, it looks kind of like... Uh, is that Snow White? Is that, who is that? That's not Snow White. How, why do I not know my Disney princess is better than this? Uh, Y'all tell me who, who this is in the comments. It's not... It's not Ariel. See, I know some of them. It's not Ariel. It's not... Uh, is it Sleeping Beauty? Didn't Sleeping Beauty have... Snow White had dark hair. Uh, it's not Ariel. It's not, uh, now I can't think of any of them. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. Oh, I wanted to mention I'm wearing my tie-dye shirt. This shirt, I went to see my parents. My parents used to live in Hawaii on the big island and they had a little, uh, marketplace there, kind of like a flea market. And there was this old hippie dude with his old hippie wife and they were selling these these very intricate tie-dye shirts. I mean, these things are amazing. These things will give you a trip without drugs. And um, my mom, God rest her soul, she died last year, just before Thanksgiving. But back then, you know, they were living in Hawaii. And there's a thing in Hawaii called Kama'ana prices, Kama'aina prices, which is it's the prices the locals get. So primarily this is in places where there's a lot more tourist activity. Uh, the Big Island is the place where they were living. It was more of a community for people that are locals. I mean, there weren't a lot of tourists running through there. Um, I mean, there obviously anywhere in Hawaii, there's going to be tourists, but not to the extent there like it is somewhere else. There were a lot of locals that went to this market. Um, so she asked the guy who was making these tie dye shirts. These weren't cheap. And she asked him if he had comma in prices because it was. A, it was a pretty pricey shirt. And he said, ma'am, it looked pretty miffed. For an old hippie, it was probably about as agitated as he ever gets. And he said, ma'am, I have to charge for my labor. These things are very labor intensive. And uh, so she was pretty disappointed that she didn't get the local discount that she thought she was going to get for her son who was visiting the island who isn't truly a local anyway. So uh, I was a little embarrassed that she she asked but you know that's she was just she was really uh always out to save money so i guess that's a good quality overall but uh anyway there's a little sidetrack um i was talking about occupational driver's license before we got to the mcdonald's um other reasons your license could be suspended which would cause you to need an occupational driver's license um driving on a license that's already suspended I, this state of Texas has been doing something recently where if they realize you've gotten a ticket while you were already suspended, they'll suspend you again and send, send you a further suspension. If you drive on a suspended license and you get another suspended license charge, they'll suspend your license again. So it's pretty easy to accumulate these things. Another big one is having an accident uh, where damage is more than a thousand dollars and not taking care of the damages where like you're at fault in an accident in a vehicle accident and you uh, have an, uh, the other party sues you for damages and you don't pay you don't settle uh, they'll suspend your license for that you also can get license suspensions for uh, failure to pay child support some of the suspensions that you can get are so-called hard suspensions where even if you get an occupational driver's license you can't you can't use it until the hard suspension's over or you have a waiting period 
four year suspension if it's uh, like a multi multiple suspension it's not your first one but you've had multiples you'll have to have a waiting period before you can get an occupational driver's license and a lot of people just take their risks when they get these things and just drive anyway um, and hope they don't get stopped and there is some kind of there is sort of a safety in numbers to some extent when you're driving only in rush hour in very populated cities where they don't have a lot of police presence. But as soon as you get in a place like Farmer's Branch or, or uh, you know, Addison or someplace where there's a high police presence, you're kind of running the risk of getting stopped. And they have license plate scanners more and more in various cities where they'll just run the plates of everybody that goes past and to the extent that they want to pull someone over who's just got a suspension instead of, you know, a warrant for murder or, or something bigger, um, you run the risk of getting stopped when you're out driving when you shouldn't be. So there's a lot of things to think about in all this, um, but we can certainly get you fixed up with an occupational driver's license if you need it and get you the routes and, um, or the counties that you need. You know, typically in the Dallas area, if someone hires us in Dallas County, we'll do Dallas and all contiguous counties. So every county that also touches Dallas is included in your occupational driver's license because most people end up, you know, most people who live here end up going to Denton County or Collin County or, you know, Kaufman or, you know, some of the, some of the contiguous counties just on a surprise basis um, for whatever they need. You know, to visit those counties for it could be work it could be the school there's a lot of different things that can cause you to go to one of the neighboring counties so I think most judges are pretty reasonable about granting contiguous counties um, I don't know if there's a lot more I want to say about that uh, the turnaround time on these tends to be it depends on the court you know it depends on the court schedule and how they handle them but tends to be we can get them done probably as fast as four or five days um week or two at most usually so um give us a call we'll see what we can do to help you i'm sorry my I, my i've been so prone to the very variations of lighting from the street and the cars ahead of me because i didn't have my interior light on it's it's looking a little bright now maybe i'll redo this video I've, I've really been happy with the lighting until I just noticed it. All right. Well, as always, it's only a free country if you're not in jail. If you get questions, suspected, arrested, searched, seized, uh, you got a court date or an indictment, or you're out on bond, or you're in jail, or anybody you know or are close to or family members have that those kinds of problems, you can call us and we'll uh, talk it out and see what we can do to help and quote your price for doing so. So everybody stay out of trouble if you can. If not, call us and uh, stay safe. Get your vaccinations if you're willing to. Some people aren't. Good luck if you don't. Good luck to all of us. Um, that's it.